hurts to break a bone, but it hurts even more if you get an infection at the fracture site or what we call as implant-associated infection. But what's the big deal about it? Thousands of people get infection every day and are treated. Well, with implant-associated infection, the problem is it will not let the bone heal. And the symptoms of such an infection are often delayed and can be totally absent till the infection reaches a later stage. At that point, they have to use high doses of antibiotics, but still the infection can reoccur as soon as the treatment stops, along with issues of antibiotic resistance. In many cases, they have to open the wound, take out the implant, wash it, wait for the infection to go away, and do the surgery again. A lot of inconvenience, and not to mention the associated medical expenses. Healthcare is expensive. But what if the infection can be detected as soon as the bacteria attacks, in a simple way, as the traffic lights? When they are green, you are good to go, but as soon as they turn yellow, there's that amber alert, you got infection. Our research is focused on developing a sensor that detects infection based on changes in pH. So when the, the normal body pH is about 7.4, or what we call as neutral, but during an infection, the pH drops and becomes acidic due to acidic products from bacterial metabolism. Our sensor consists of a layer of white X-ray particles that absorb the X-rays and give out red light. On the top, there is a pH-sensitive film that absorbs this red light differentially depending on the pH. So when the pH is normal, the top layer is green and it absorbs most of the red light, giving us a weak signal. During infection, it turns yellow and stops absorbing the red light, giving us a strong signal. We tested our implant, we tested our sensor by implanting it in a rat to detect signal. We also tested it to evaluate the success of antibiotic treatment by growing bacteria on top of the sensor film. As a, re as a, as a result, the pH became acidic and we got a strong signal as shown by the yellow pixels. We then, ended, we then added an antibiotic, and 18 hours later, the pH returned to normal, as shown by all the blue pixels. In future, we plan to incorporate our sensor in metal implants in order to detect infection as soon as it starts to develop to avoid complications and the associated medical expenses. Thank you.